Yeah, Dara Williams' mother is set to speak tomorrow at a press conference. She was too upset to talk with us today about this report, which does detail the minutes leading up to her son's passing. Raleigh Police Chief Estella Patterson releasing a five-day report and sharing that Daryl Williams was heard on body cam video saying, I have heart problems as he was being tased back to back. He died in police custody last week. It happened outside of Supreme Sweepstakes. The report notes that he was tased three times after resisting arrest for possession of a controlled substance and was trying to run from police. Patterson says within 50 seconds, drive stun mode was used twice. That is when a taser gun is placed on someone's body and a powerful shock is deployed. His mom telling me last week, Williams did have underlining health issues. It ran into the family. His father and his uncle had heart problems. He had had some heart, some um, heart problems in the past, but nothing really serious. Minutes after he was tased, William was quote unresponsive, not breathing, and without a pulse. CPR was given. EMS rushed him to the hospital, and he was later pronounced dead. Six officers involved are on administrative duty. The State Bureau of Investigation is reviewing the case. The Raleigh Police Department running a parallel investigation to make sure policies and procedures were followed. Especially when you're tasing uh, an individual, but. Even more so when multiple individuals are tasing somebody um, on both sides of the body at the same time. It is extremely egregious um, for them not to take it into consideration. The Raleigh Police Department is not commenting on the findings in the five-day report. The department says it will petition to release relevant recordings, which include dash and body cam video. It is definitely something we look forward to seeing um, to get a full, accurate picture of what actually happened. Um, and how long he was tased. The report does not specify how long he was tased at any of the other intervals he was tased. And so it is definitely still questions in there. So the Raleigh Police Chief says that she will report these findings to the Wake County District Attorney's Office. So I did reach out today to see if the office has received any information from the police department. I have not heard back. We're live in downtown Raleigh tonight. Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.